already know the camshaft is wearing out and it's time to check it out. Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. How do you know your camshaft is worn and it's time to either replace it or rebuild the top end of your engine? The camshaft is located on the top end of the engine right on the cylinder head. It is going to be part of the valve train. There's going to be camshaft sprocket that's attached to the end of the camshaft. So basically these sprockets are turned by either by a timing belt or a timing chain. When the camshaft sprocket is turned or rotated by the timing belt or timing chain, the cam lobe on the camshaft is going to operate the opening and closing of the intake and exhaust valves. By operating the opening of the intake and exhaust valve, it's going to allow fresh air to enter the combustion chamber. And when everything burns inside the combustion chamber, the cam lobes also going to operate the exhaust valve and allow exhaust fume to exit the combustion chamber. If the cam lobes on the camshafts are worn, it will not be able to open and close the intake and exhaust valves all the way. This will cause engine performance issue. If the intake and exhaust valves are not closed all the way, this can cause low compression. Having low compression can cause all sorts of issues, such as low power, poor engine performance, engine misfire. This can cause the check engine light to turn on, it can cause rough idle, it can cause stalling, and it can also cause hard start as well. In addition, the most noticeable problem is going to be extremely noisy valve train. The number one reason why camshaft tends to fail prematurely is going to be caused by extremely low engine oil. If you have extremely low engine oil, there will be lack of lubrication in the uh, valve train system. When there's lack of lubrication, this is going to cause the uh, camshaft bearings to have increased friction and it's going to cause it to wear prematurely. Also, it's going to cause the uh, cam lobes to fail pre prematurely as well. Again, caused by friction. The second most common cause why camshaft tends to fail prematurely is going to be caused by lack of oil change and not changing that oil filter. If you don't change that oil or oil filter over time, that engine oil is going to start to break down and it's going to have a buildup of dirt, moisture, and sludge in that engine oil. When that engine oil is no longer functioning properly as it should, again, it's going to contribute to that uh, camshaft failure. There are a lot of reasons why camshaft tends to fail. For example, let's just say you had engine work done on the top end. And let's just say that the uh, camshaft bearing cap was over tightened. Again, that's going to cause uh, the uh, camshaft to fail prematurely as well. Another example is going to be caused by maybe a lack of lubrication caused by severe engine oil leak or let's just say you don't have proper lubrication maybe caused by a failing oil pump. Or maybe you have one of those vehicles which is poorly designed and the camshaft end up having cracks in them and actually end up breaking. I have seen this on the uh, Ford uh, Fiesta. In addition, you may have excessive end play which can contribute to that camshaft lobe uh, wearing out quicker than usual. The proper way to check if the camshaft lobe and journals are worn or not is to use a micrometer and dial indicator and compare it to manufacturer specification. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.